Today we're going to kickstart our pond. Would you, would you would you like a cup of coffee? We have fresh coffee here. Today we're here in the garden center in one of our small little display ponds, a handy uh, kit that we sell here by Aquascapes. As you can see here, it's quite murky. It's been sitting all winter long. Uh, we do have a few fish in here. Um, now if your pond had a heater or a bubbler exchange, this is the time of year you want to take that out. And um, we're going to do a water exchange. And what that simply is, is we're just going to suck down some of this water. And I'm also going to clean out a lot of the debris. Uh, to get started with uh, kickstarting our pond. We have these uh, handy dandy skimmer nets here. Uh, they're, they're nice because they're a lot finer particles and they can grab all the, the fines that are in the water garden. So basically, I'm just gonna start by trying not to grab all my fish too. Any leaf debris, pine cones, needles, maybe ornamental grass clippings, whatever you have, just start getting that stuff out of the pond. It's hard to get it all, the filters will take care of the rest. Now I have some old pots in here that I'm gonna remove. It's a good way for your pottery if you have broken pots. You can see here we put them in to create fish caves for them, which is kinda handy. Hopefully there's no creatures down in here. Surprise up, jump out and get us. Look at all them leaves. Got to get them. Now what I'm going to do is just do my water exchange. I, I have a sump pump here. You could also use the pump that came with your pond. And this is the pump that's going to be in the skimmer box. You could put that down and use that, attach a hose, and uh, discard it that way. And if you're going to do so, that's a good time where you want to inspect your propellers. Look in there, make sure there's no debris that got lodged in there from the winter before so it doesn't damage the uh, propellers in there. So now we're just going to start drawing the water down. <clears throat> There's a lot of beneficial nutrients that are in this water that you could use for your plant material. So try to uh, use it in the landscape. This particular pond has two filter pads. I'm going to take those out. I'm going to hose them down. Then this is our skimmer vault. These are scrubbers. I'm going to clean them up. And then I got a debris net right here. And I got a resident frog. We'll put you back, little buddy. All right. Life. Water garden brings life. So here's the filter pads that were in our waterfall or biofalls unit. I'm just going to kind of clean them out. Maybe some debris that's in there from last over the winter. And we'll hose them out real good. Ah, oh, yeah. Get all that out of there. Aquascapes has done great taking the work out of these little pond systems, making it very simple for the homeowner keeping a nice clean pond so that they can enjoy it for years to come. I'm about to spray off all the rocks to help uh, knock some of the algae off, but don't worry, you don't need to get all the algae off because it's essential for the pond to have a balanced ecosystem. Um, and we have some appropriate material to add to the pond so that it uh, can battle that. That's about as low as I'd like to go in order to keep my fish happy. There are little grooves inside of the skimmer box so you can kind of line your scrubbers up there. And then your debris net is closest to the inlet and they go in at an angle ahead of the scrubbers and that'll help catch any of the heavy matter leaf debris so you can clean it out periodically. The more work you put into your pond and cleaning, the better results you're going to have. So I kind of like to clean out the biofalls unit too. Okay, now I'm going to install my filters. I'm using these rocks just to weight down the filter just a little. I don't want to use too many because we want the water to come through freely. 
but I don't like the pads to decide to float. Now I'm gonna add some fresh water to the pond and fill it up to the appropriate level. And this will take a little while. I try to keep the water level down about a uh, couple inches from the top of the uh, skimmer vault so that the debris can flow through evenly. Now once your pond has filled to the appropriate level, we wanna add our pond detoxifier here. What that'll do is help take a lot of the, if you have chlorine in your water or contaminants, that'll help clean the water. It's fish safe. To calculate the appropriate gallon of your pond, it'll be length times width times average depth times 7.5. And the recommended rates is one pump per 100 gallons. So we will need four pumps. We try to get it where the water flow is gonna be, the waterfall here, and four, and that's enough. And now that our water is flowing and we've got good circulation, then you would apply our EcoBlast, a granular algicide. In the spring, if your water temperature is below 55 and you can use these pond thermometers to check, uh, you're going to only want to add the detoxifier and EcoBlast. Once your pond warms up above 55, then we can start adding the beneficial bacteria. And to make things convenient, we have your spring starter kits here in our aquatic section at the garden center, and it has everything you need to kickstart your pond. There's nothing more enjoyable than having your own outdoor water feature. Whether it be a pond or a pondless system, it has so many added benefits to your landscape. So I hope these tips were helpful for you. And remember, you can do it. Let's grow green together. <laughs>